I mean, how much of what would people experience when it comes to the, the word depression? How much of it is their life going bad, tragedy, poor health, bad job choices? How much of it is some sort of a weird genetic thing? How much, I mean, there's so many variables as to what causes depression, but such a giant number yeah. of people suffer from depression. Well, I think it's, I think it only, if I'm being honest, I think it's going to get worse. You know, like you look at the way we live and the, the closer and closer you've t spoken about that. We we're just talking about fucking New York. We're not yeah. meant to be that confined. We're not meant to sit out like we're withheld from the fucking sun right now. Yeah. So many of these things communicate with our bodies. I'm working with a genetic specialist, Ryan Frissinger. He was on Chris Ryan's show. Sunlight influences 500 on off switches on our epigenetic level for the for the good unless you fucking overdo it right 500 500 plus on off switches in our dna are affected by sunlight positively right i mean there's that's what they look at vitamin d3 take that for example they're calling that a hormone now not a fucking vitamin really because it's a messenger that's how much it influences in the body incredibly important so when you think about all these things like being barefoot being connected to the earth going in the fucking ocean science will catch up in certain ways but we get fixated on the thing. We get fixated, fixated on our phones, on whatever TV is going on. We're closed off from other people. We think, you know, communicating through Facebook is the same as being fucking face to face. It's not, you no. know, and the more we head that direction and we're putting, you know, as you put it, putting fucking shit food in our body for mouth pleasure, that influences the brain, right? 80 to 90% of all of our neurotransmitters are made by the bacteria in our gut. So you think the shit meal is just going to put on five pounds. It's not. It might put on five pounds, but it's going to fuck your brain up for a while. You make you a little bit more emotional. Fuck with your, your, your sharpness, your memory recall. Isn't All that's funny? impacted. Sleep's impacted. I wish Michael Walker talked a bit more about that. I just don't think it's in his wheelhouse. I don't think it is. He's, uh, he's just a guy who studies sleep and the, the effects on it. But fuck, was that in illuminating yeah eye-opening that you know, podcast was so important to me it was fucking fantastic i think his book is really good but as far as like dialing in sleep it's more of this is what happens when you don't sleep mm -hmm. sleep the book sleep by nick little hales is probably my favorite because that gives you all it's a fucking how-to guide on how to maximize sleep and when you were younger lack of sleep didn't affect you the way it affects you now right Correct. Yeah. yeah. Uh, everything he talks about, like with that shift that you have, that happens in adolescence where you become a night owl, mm -hmm. no doubt. And I probably still could stay out a little bit later until having a kid. And then that's your, your immediate reset. To, yeah. Bitch, you're getting up when the sun comes up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Be prepared, sir. Get ready. Yeah. It's, um, there's so many different factors that lead to a healthy body, but how much of a healthy body leads to a happy mind? That's where it gets like you can't blame some of these people that are suffering from like a disease. Some of these people that have like something wrong with the way their brain is producing these happy hormones. Yeah, I don't think you can say it's just this one thing like, well, yeah. if you just ate clean or if you just went keto or you just right. ate paleo, then you wouldn't have depression. I right. don't think that's it at all. But certainly that's a factor. It's, it know, certainly could being, be a factor. Being in nature, sure. being in nature is a factor. Mm -hmm. And unpacking trauma, Gabra Mate says at the heart of all fucking addiction is some form of trauma. Yeah, I'm sure. Completely makes sense. Yeah, his, uh, his theories on that are fascinating. It's, I never thought about it that way. That some form of trauma during your developmental stage has led you to like, seek out this weird, crazy feeling and experience. When you, uh, have, have you known many people that have had like, serious addictions, like uh, meth or... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> without naming names, uh, people very close to me family members uh, have been addicted to meth um, <sighs> lost a cousin to pills um, I've been going to AA not for me for a family member since I was three years old so I, I've, I've seen that you know what if is now now is that trauma based is like everything because pills don't pills just get kind of get everybody yeah pills can get everybody there's no doubt about that um, there Unless some, you there wean yourself trauma. off, yeah, you have like there was, real issues, there was right? some trauma there on, in all of those circumstances. And I'm not saying, you know, pills can fucking grab you. There's no doubt. Um, but certainly with the meth and uh, the alcohol, which was other things, you know, no doubt 
there was trauma there. Yeah, I've known of quite a few people that got fucked up on, on pills after operations or injuries or stuff like that. But um, I know quite a few of them that kicked it. You know, that just realized it was happening when, whoa, down, like uh, Shobbs talked about it quite mm -hmm. a bit. When he fought Crow Cop, his nose was destroyed. So they had to rebuild his nose and he started taking pain pills. And he said after a while, he's just taking them every day just because he just wanted to take them. And then his friends came over and cleaned out his medicine cabinet and went, cut the shit, dude. You're, it's four months later, you're still taking these things all day long. You can't do that anymore. And he's like, whoa. He said he almost didn't even realize he was doing it. It just kind of caught a hold of him. Yeah, shit becomes habit, especially when it's that euphoric. Right? <sighs> Must be amazing.